Greetings, math lovers. Now we're going to be doing the median of our grouped frequency distribution. Let's take a moment to note the formula. So let's start by explaining L1. Now, if you notice, this says lower boundary for the median class. We are concerned about the median class because we are calculating the median. And remember, the class is just a range of scores, 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and so forth. So the boundaries, just like a house, the boundaries are not supposed to be exactly where the house is. The boundaries are usually a little bit away from the house. So in the same way, the boundaries for these classes are not the same as the classes, but they are in between the classes. So, for example, if we're looking at the first class, which is 1 to 10, the boundaries, the lower boundary would be a little to the left. Right? And we look at the halfway mark. So for simplicity, we're going to say it's just halfway away. So 0.5. So it's going to be 0.5 less than 1. So the lower boundary here will be 0 0.5. The upper boundary will be 0.5 away. So 10.5. If you're looking at this class, 21 to 30, 0.5, the lower boundary, half unit away. So we're looking at 20.5. The upper boundary, half unit higher. Or to the right, 30.5. So these are our boundaries. So when we identify which range is our median range or our median class, we just want to identify the lower boundary for that class. And that gives us L1. Now for the class width. The class width is just how wide the class is. I would say it's really the upper boundary minus the lower boundary so each class width for the, is always 10.5 minus 0.5 which would be 10 or 30.5 minus 20.5 also 10 or 60.5 minus 50.5 which is also 10 all right so the class width is just the upper boundary minus the lower boundary cf above the cumulative frequency above it's just the cumulative frequency in the row above the median class. Right? So just looking at the table, the row that's above the median class, it's a cumulative frequency in that row. And F made the frequency of the median class, well, that is self-explanatory. Right? So let's go to the table and pick up the results. All right. So to identify our median class, our middle class, we look at the cumulative frequency. Now remember in total we have 50 persons. So the halfway mark is 50 over 2, 25. So the middle person would be about the 25th person. So all we want to find is where that 25th person falls. So here we only have 3 persons, so we're not at 25 yet. Second row, we're only at 11. By the third row, we're at 20 persons. So we're still not, we still don't have 25 persons. But by the fourth row, we have 34 persons, which means that number 25 would have fallen somewhere in the group of 14 persons that got between 31 and 40. Right? So remember, up to 1 to 10 marks, it's only 3 persons. 11 to 20 marks, up to that stage, it's 11 persons. Up to 30 marks, we have 20 persons. So the 25th person would have gotten higher than 30. What did the 25th person get? We want to say that person would have fallen somewhere in this group of 14. That brought us up to 34 persons. So we identify that our median class is the group 31 to 40, that range. Right? I would know that our median score would fall somewhere in that range. So we just want to find out exactly where it falls. Now, if we have identified this as our median class, then it means the lower boundary for the median class would be halfway 
to the left, which will be 30.5. So L1, the lower boundary for the median class, will be 30.5. We also know that the class width is 10. For the cumulative frequency above, we know that this is our median class. So we'll just look at the cumulative frequency in the table that's right above that. And that is 20. So the CF above is 20. And the frequency of our median class is just the frequency noted here, 14. I haven't gotten all of the values required. Or oh, the last one is a summation of F over 2. The total frequency was 50, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. So I haven't gotten all of the values that we need. We plug them in the formula and we solve. Important to remember the rules of bod mass, which says we always work in the brackets first. Then we multiply. And then after all of that is done, we do our addition. So the last thing that is done is the addition. So plugging in the figures, we have L1, 35 plus class width, 10 open brackets, summation of f over 2, that's 25, minus cf above, which is 20, all divided by the f mid, which is 14. So 25 minus 20, that's 5, 5 over 14, that's 0.357. Then we do a multiplication, 10 times that is 3.57. And last but not least, we add the 30.5, which gives us 34.07 units. So we're saying our median score is 34.07 units. All right, so as usual, have fun with these calculations, and we'll be speaking again soon.